In this video, we're going to walk through how to configure custom channel groups to report on your inbound traffic in GA4, Google Analytics 4. And we're also going to look at the channel groups that are automatically available by default. Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. Okay, so Google Analytics includes default channel groups. These automatically classify how people found your website into predefined classifications. For example, if someone found your website by clicking an organic search result on Google, then this would appear in the organic search group. We're going to start by looking at these default channel groups before we create our own custom channel groups. Let's head to Google Analytics. I've already logged into Google's demo property and we're looking at the home report. Scrolling down, we can see how people are finding the website based on the session default channel group. This means traffic is combined into these top level groupings and we can see this includes direct, organic search, paid search, cross network, and so on. Apart from finding default channel groupings in the home report, you'll also find them in other Google Analytics reports too. Let's navigate to Reports. Then Acquisition and Overview. Below the timeline, we can see two cards that show traffic by default channel group. The card on the left shows us first user default channel group while the card on the right shows us session default channel group. This is important to remember as we're using Google Analytics. The different channel grouping dimensions are based on different attribution for your traffic. So the first user default channel group shows you how people find your website the first time. It's just showing the channel groups for your new users. While the session default channel group shows you how people find your website for each of their sessions. You can also include default channel groups when you build custom exploration reports in Google Analytics. We'll come back to this later in the video, but now let's head to Google's support article about the default channel groups. This article provides a summary of the different default channel groups you can find in your reports. We can see the default channel groups are affiliates, audio, cross network, this will include traffic from Performance Max campaigns in Google Ads. If you would like to learn more about Performance Max campaigns, I've included a link in the extra resources below this video. Then we have Direct, Display, Email, Mobile Push Notifications, Organic Search, Shopping, Social and Video. Then there are Paid Groups. These are Paid Other, paid search, paid shopping, and so on. Plus there are referral and SMS groups. For even more detail about how traffic is included in each of these groups, you can find the definitions further down on the page. This includes the source and medium requirements for traffic. So this article is a handy reference if you see a channel group that you're not familiar with in Google Analytics and I've included a link to the article in the description below this video. Okay, now that we've covered default channel groups, it's time to look at how we can create our own custom channel groups to use in our reports. Let's head back to Google Analytics to walk through the steps. To configure custom channel groups, you will need editor or administrator level access to the property. If you don't have the correct level of permission, then you'll need to either have your permission increased or ask someone who does have access to configure custom channel groups. Okay, so I've opened my own GA4 demo property and we can see we're looking at the admin area. In the property column, let's select data settings and then channel groups. We can see the predefined channel group. Let's click the arrow on the right for this group. This lets us see all of the channels that we saw in the support article. And if we select one of these, we can then see how the default channel group has been configured. Okay, let's close this. And let's select create new channel group. We can name our custom channel group. I'm going to call my group campaign channel group. 
Now we need to define the groups we want to use to classify our traffic. We can see the default groups are already added by default, so we can use these as a starting point. And we can also select the three vertical dots to copy a group and to remove a group. For this group, I'm going to classify traffic as either campaign or non-campaign traffic. This will provide a top-level view about the different campaigns we're running that drive traffic to our website. I'm going to start by removing most of the default channel groups, but I'm going to leave email and affiliates. And you could also leave additional groups if you wanted more granular reporting. OK, now let's click Add New Channel. Let's name the channel Advertising. And now we need to add our conditions. Let's click Add Condition Group. And choose Default Channel Group. And let's add a condition. Let's select Matches Regex for regular expression matching. And now let's enter cross backslash dash network. Then pipe and display. Then pipe and paid. And then full stop asterisk. This will match all of our paid advertising. Now let's click apply. And save the channel. And let's add one more channel. Let's name the channel other campaigns and click Add Condition Group. Let's select Add New Condition and choose Default Channel Group. Now let's add a condition. Let's ensure Matches Exactly is selected and let's enter Unassigned as the value and click Apply. Now let's save the channel. If needed, you can reorder the channels. This means whichever channel is matched first will be applied for your traffic. To do this, let's click Reorder. And I'm going to move Advertising to the top, then Email, then Other Campaigns, and finally Affiliates. Now let's click Apply, and let's save the group. We've now created our first custom channel group in Google Analytics. I want to highlight in the standard version of Google Analytics, you can create a total of two custom channel groups. This means once you've created two custom groups, you'll need to remove or edit a group to make changes. OK, now let's look at how we can report on our custom channel groups. We're going to create a custom exploration report. So let's select Explore. And let's create a new report. Now let's add dimensions. Let's search for Campaign Channel Group. And we can see our custom channel group is available. We can choose from the first dimension which is listed under Attribution and there is also First User and Session Channel Groups. Remember that First User will only show you channel groups for your new users. And the Session Dimension will show you channel groups for all of your sessions. I also want to highlight the first option under Attribution applies your attribution model to the channel group. This means you need to be tracking conversions or e-commerce purchases to use this group. I'm going to select Session Campaign Channel Group and click Import. And let's add a metric. I'm going to search for and select Sessions and click Import. We can now add the dimensions and metrics to our report. You can also add your custom channel groups to the standard reports by editing them or creating new reports using the library feature. To do this, you will need editor or administrator level permission for the GA4 property. Are you going to create custom channel groups in GA4? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to my channel for all of my latest tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.